Hello and welcome back to Football Club Barcelona. So we've played 12 games now, we've scored 22 goals, not great, only conceded two goals, which is really funny because before this tactic, I was trying to make a tactic that was good defensively and also defended in a low block, etc. So it's not quite the same thing. But my point was, and I said this, that a lot of the better defensive tactics of foot manager at the moment are ones that either retain the ball a lot so the team can't score or that press really high and pin the team back a lot. Um, unfortunately, playing in a low block and playing an orthodox defensive style, if that's correct term to use, I suppose, um, just isn't the way to go, evidently. We're not even trying to be that good defensively, but, you know, that's not been the main focus. It's been a byproduct of what we do. Uh, so there we go. Average possessions up to 57. Now, it's been an improvement. The last few games have been a real improvement. We're actually on to something, I think. We're retaining the ball pretty well. We're getting a lot of passes completed, which is not scoring enough goals, creating enough chances. The results have been like this since we last met. Lots of wins, a couple of draws. Champions League group is not great, but we have a chance of going through there. Yeah, the last couple of games have been good. If we show you the... Let's go through Alche and Granada. So Alche. Alche finished on 16%, but we scored four goals. We were pretty good. 560 passes. Isn't amazing, but it's a step in the right direction. And that was a pretty comprehensive win for us. Then Granada away from home. 755 passes completed. 63% possession. Much, much better. In fact, it was 67-68 for a lot of the game until right at the end. When I make changes to the central field players, that often kills the possession a little bit. I've noticed, but... That's a step in the right direction. If that's what we're averaging, if we're getting between 60 and 63 away from home and getting anywhere near that, that's going to be pretty good for the season. Now, that's just purely the stats. This is the way the tactic currently looks. Um, Jordi Alba's out for the season, pretty much. He got bad injury. So I had to be creative who played left-back because Balde just wasn't good enough. So Yusuf Demir has become a left-back for us. Um, I don't think he's enjoying it, but he's going to have to deal with it. But before that even happened, I'd already decided I was going to be moving at least one of the wing-backs back to this line. I just felt... When they were high, once we got the ball to the wingers, because they already start high, the ball goes to the winger and they start to overlap straight away. They start to be so far advanced that then the game struggles to, I think, comprehend the concept then of retaining rounds and switching through the back line. So having somebody further back in the building phase, I think, was better. And I wasn't sure whether to go with one or both. And the problem with this here, whenever I've done this before with like one wing back ahead of the other, is the AI seems to be really good at exploiting that, especially top sides. So... This will cost us eventually. It will cost us goals against top teams. But so far, it hasn't just yet. When we pin teams back and we're on the and we're heavily in possession, we've been in possession for a long time, this player normally holds a little more, which has been good. In terms of the realism of the recreation at the moment, we're still a bit of way off. I think it, this role is really hard to get. And every little change you make destroys everything, right? So it's, it's become really hard so far. But we're close. We're closer than, than we were in terms of a proper recreation, but it's just, it's not as close as I would like it to be. I always put this down to how, when I did the pep tactic last year, I had like an original setup where it was, I had the CDM here and two advanced midfielders here, the wingers were back here, and eventually it became an orthodox shape afterwards. I feel like that we're sort of in that zone, zone at the moment, that this is the best we've got so far, and it's only going to get better from here, but at least we've got a start. We've got, we've got somewhere to start from, right? So we played Valencia today on Comprehensive, we'll play this game. And then I think we'll play Real Madrid next. Maybe we'll do... If this goes well, and I'm not going to change too much, we might do those two as like a normal episode where we just do it on our kind of extended highlights, do the two teams and the two games in one episode. So let's see how today goes. Anyway, Valencia today. Multiple players out, which is frustrating. But to stay in, it goes in goal. Back four of Lecru, Garcia, Demir and Lazari. Midfield three of Gabi, De Jong and Pedri. And then Martins, Depay and Daka up front. Assistant manager says... I think we need to show everyone that the recent praise is justified, but it's on a real chart there. Okay. Okay, I wasn't talking over this. I don't think this was a major highlight. I probably should have done. They had a throw in. They played it through. They broke through a left-hand side. Not a right side, incidentally. But, like, the right-back needs to come in here. And they play it through. 1-0 to Valencia. I like here. Lacroix to De Jong. Back to Lacroix. To Eric Garcia. To Demir. To Memphis. Garcia, see, look, we're building it much better here, De Jong. We've got an option in here. Oh, it's gone wide to Lazari there. See, if he was going to go wide there, I'd expect that Gelson might to make the run in behind. Like, can we just, do you know what, let's go back to it. I like the fact that it goes through that. Now, there, that should be, Gelson Martins should be running through this gap here for Daka to slow him through. That's what it should be. What it should not be is a fucking nonsense ball up to the winger to then do what? To cross it in, you know? So... And, and to fix it, I've even got him on attack duty. Like, I can't do much more. To make him make those runs. 
I don't think it's the player. I think it's the role. The role and duty. Again, like... We get in here. Look. Daka gets on the ball. It goes back to Gavi. Back into the... Like, he's there. This is, I know he's ta being tackled this time around, but we need to try and get this ball through here and not take that easy option every time. I don't believe it. 2-0 from a corner. Demir to Memphis. Memphis now to De Jong. Out to Demir. Yusuf Demir plays it. Oh, I hope he should have got, should have got that across, really. Give me a corner now instead. Pats and Daka. Memphis. Daka is offside. I don't believe it. Barcelona have it with Lazari. Lazari to Gelson. Gelson now whips it in. Daka. Good goal. 2-1. Pedro is on the counter attack for Barcelona. Pedro runs away with it. He's got to find somebody else eventually here. Somebody come towards him. De Jong. Gelson. Martins. Terrible ball across. I like here. Valencia start with the ball. They're going to probably be forced into a mistake. Nope, they're going to keep it nice and easy because we can't get through to them. He's not offside as a human. No, okay, we'll show the ball though. Oh no, it's offside. Garcia, Pedri, to De Jong. To Gelson Martins into that gap. It was close. They nearly got it that time. Now, is it a roll thing then? Like, he's getting so close with it and he's making this run every time. Do you want to offset either Daka or somebody at this? Do we want to go... What does one change to? Ram Deuter? The problem with the inverted winger is it's got... Do you know what? I was about to say it's got... Do you know what? I don't know. Goal. Gelson Martins. As I just about to change his role. I was just about to say, I don't know if I would leave that in or not because I was stuttering and all over the place thinking to myself. I was thinking out loud an idea and I was stopping myself. The inverted... The inside forward has crossed less often preset and I don't know whether the inverted winger does. Let's have a look at it quickly. That happened, by the way, before the tactical change was made. The reason I don't like them, so it's not, it's not pre-coded either way. Okay. Interesting. The reason I don't like inverted wingers and wingers, I feel like that with the preset of Dribble Moron, they just dribble so much. And inside forwards do have it preset as well, but I just have a feeling, it might just be a feeling, it might not be right, that they dribble more with it than inside forwards do. But I just don't pretty well to come back from this, to be honest with you. Gabby, Lazari. Gelson Martins, Gabi, De Jong, Pedri. Interesting. I was just watching the combination of movements there with the inverted winger. What is that, Gelson Martins? That is dog shit, is what that is. De Jong, well done, Nigel De Jong. Uh, Nigel De Jong. Um, sorry, it's not Nigel De Jong. Uh, but... Do you know what? I've already forgotten. What's his name? Frankie De Jong. I'm going to say keep going. We work hard. If we keep working hard, we'll win as a team. Memphis is probably the first player to come off here. Gonna take off Memphis as I'm watching this come in on the other side here. Galan is gonna come on left hand side. It's gonna be corner. <laughs> oh, Valencia have the ball here. They've had it for a little while in this attack, so this could be an actual highlight here. They whip it in. So way now Garson should have got to that and it's ended the highlight. Valencia have a throw on the left hand side. There, right hour left. It goes onto the opposite side. It's gonna play back to the middle. It's gonna be a corner for them. We've had like zero highlights in our favour for the last 20 minutes of the game. Valencia have the ball again. Corner. Okay, finally, highlight for Barcelona at the hill. Martins. Pats and Daka. He's in. Yeah, it's 3 2 to Barca. That reminded me a little bit of like a little um, ball up to the winger in some LA2 kind of run. Got Iniesta to Chavi. Chavi's going to play it into our Messi, who's just come off the line and then slides a nice little one through into some LA2 between the two centre backs. Makes it 3 2 to Barca. Barcelona with the highlight. Lazar on the right hand side has the ball, plays it off him for a corner. Hopefully, we can get a goal from the corner to finish off the game. Coutinho, Gelson, back to Coutinho, whipped it in, and he was offside, wasn't he? I don't believe... How can they keep getting caught on that? Professional footballers. Valencia had the ball, they whip it in. Guedes. <laughs> Barca with the highlight instantly. Lazari to Gelson, to Dion, to Coutinho. Coutinho gives it away, of course he does. Eric Garcia wins it back. Yusuf Demir is just playing silly buggers with their winger. Galeno, back to Eric Garcia, to Lacroix, Dion. De Jong has it still, plays a great ball through to Pats and Daka, who nearly gets the shot away. Last seconds of the game, Valencia have the ball again. Galeno has it. Daka, De Jong, Nico Coutinho tries an ambitious ball and goes absolutely nowhere with it. Of course it does. We're not playing very well at the moment in, um, in crucial moments. When the attack's been built up, I feel like that we get through from a mistake. Like, what is that? Like, but two are so wasteful. Do not make of that. I 
Assets completed wasn't bad again. I mean, 644 passes completed against Valencia away is not bad at all. Two clear-cut chances, two half chances is good. Do we score a penalty? No, we didn't. That's good, because that's one of the ones that always gives away. 1.24 expected goals is not great, but I don't know how we can only have that expected goals for two clear cutters and two half chances. Quite low. I feel like we created a decent amount of chances in that game. With four, even though we got four shots on goal. Maybe that's why it's so low, because the actual shots weren't there. That's why they expected goals are so low. Every shot was a good chance. All, the, all three of our goals were, were good opportunities. I feel like that if I put more risk, though, on like the passes, the possession drops, and we're sort of stuck in this area where if we want to try and get the high level of possession... This is what we have to do. And if I try and increase the risk of the passes, that we might then create more chances for more goals, but we'll lose the, the possession. These two aren't getting good match trends. I like the Elon Playmaker role for the way that it positions itself in the builder, but it probably needs to dribble more with it. Like whenever he travels with it and starts to play more like isn't afraid to travel with it and doesn't play it just like a like a defensive build type role. He seems to do a lot better. So I'm gonna go dribble more on this and see if that helps with the Deep Man Playmaker. Easy fix for this right now would be uh, Tripatista, potentially Ram to or moving him in to this slot here to do the messy role. But if he starts there, he means he'll, he'll start the entire game and defend there, which isn't what you would want from the winger in this season. He's got to start wide. I just I might change it to inverted winger. Like who scored the third goal actually? It, no, it wasn't him. It was Daka. We could have won that game with three two if I'd have gone defensive. I didn't go to my defensive tactic and I could have done. So probably a lesson for me. I just thought I we would see it out. I don't know. I don't know why I switched off, to be honest. I, I have been doing that in a couple of games early on. Against Katafi, I did it um, as soon as we scored. And I think it was in... Which game was it? No, we won 2-0. Was it maybe this one? It was that one, I think. Against Bobal as well. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Like, it, it's, we're neutral, aren't we? We're not, I'm not positive about what we've done so far. I'm not negative about it either. I'm, I'm neutral. I had to put it on like a 100% spectrum of 100% being a total recreation, 0% total failure. I'd put us at about, for my own standards, about 55% right now. Like it, it's doing okay. There's just so many bits to it I'd want to improve, but, but we're getting there. We're definitely making steps in the right direction, I think. And um, it'll be interesting to see whether the players make a difference over the years as we progress through. But uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. I think for the next episode, then we'll come back for the Real Sociedad game and the Real Madrid game now, Casico. We'll do this one more than likely in key highlights. This one may be an extended or comprehensive and get a, hopefully a better feel for it. And hopefully we're in the Champions League knockouts by that point. Uh, and yeah, so with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.